Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericanMuscle.com and this is my review of the T-Rex Upper Class Series Black Mesh Grill for the 2015-16 Mustang. This Upper Class Series Black Mesh Grill is going to be for the S550 owner who would like to upgrade the looks of the front end and grill of their new Mustang and create more of an aftermarket aggressive look as opposed to that stock look. The mesh grill is also perfect if you're not really into the horizontal bar grills that are out there. This mesh grill will take the stock three window design with the pony and honeycomb and the extra plastic of the upper grill and replace that with one single piece of fine woven wire mesh. Both upper and lower pieces are also stainless steel with a 12 gauge frame and they're powder coated black which will be nice for those cars that see all different types of road conditions since it will give you some corrosion resistance. This one here is powder coated black like I just said but these grills are also available in a polished form if you prefer a brighter finish. And from looking at these right here on the table, there is a little bit of weight to them, but the weaving on the mesh is nicely done and even, and the frame is very sturdy. Now it's worth mentioning here that the upper grill is a complete replacement of the factory grill, but the lower grill is simply a matching overlay, not a complete replacement, so you won't be completely eliminating that lower grill. Both the black and polished grills can be picked up as a combo of both the upper and the lower grill, or you can just buy the upper or lower separate if you don't want to spring for the combo. There is going to be a cost difference between the finishes. The polished version is going to cost a little bit more, but either way, you're looking at a little over $600 for the black combo set and about $100 more than that for the polished combo. If you're interested in just the black upper grill, it's going to cost just a little bit below $400 or less than $250 for just the lower overlay. The install for these grills is easy, a one out of three wrenches on the scale, but the time for install is obviously going to change depending on if you're installing both the upper and the lower or just one or the other. I'd say about an hour to complete both since the upper grill is a complete replacement and the lower is just an overlay. And the grills do come with all of the needed hardware. You won't need anything special to complete the install. You're looking at some basic hand tools like a Phillips head and a flat head screwdriver, a seven millimeter wrench, and a few smaller size sockets and a ratchet. You do need to remove the front bumper, so you can start by popping out the eight plastic clips that are holding the black plastic cover shroud. And as a side note, you can use some painter's tape at any time just to give yourself a little protection around the work area, so you don't scratch paint or mark up the shroud. On each side of the bumper, you'll need to back out the screws that are holding the bumper in place, as well as the plastic clips that are on each side of the front tires. After that, there are about 12 screws on the bottom of the bumper overlap that need to be backed out. Then you can pop the fascia off by pulling the sides near the front corner lap right underneath the headlight, but just make sure to unplug the headlight connections before walking away with the bumper. You will be laying the bumper face down somewhere to do the install, so I would just lay it on some protection so you don't scratch it at all. So getting the top factory grill out isn't as hard as you might think it is. There's a soft gasket that comes out with a screwdriver and you can remove the plastic clips that are along the edge. The new grill installs with the supplied fasteners that go around the factory clips, and then the center bumper soft gasket goes right back in after the new grill. The lower grill is going to go over top of the factory grill here, and you're going to need the brackets for the install. The machine screws go through the brackets, and then the two wing nuts are then threaded on. The brackets are then fixed to the inside of the bottom bumper mesh, and the lock nuts are tightened down to the mesh frame. Then it's ready to be fixed to the factory grill by tightening down the mesh from the front. Just as a little tip, you can use a long flat head screwdriver to hold the toggle wings while you're tightening down the screws to help out with this. And after that, it's just a matter of getting the front bumper back on the car the same way you took it off. Wrapping things up here, the T-Rex Upper Class Series Black Mesh Grill is going to create a single piece upper grill with no pony, and it's going to get more of what I'd call a muscle car look. Both the upper and lower grills are stainless steel and come either polished or powder coated black. You can check these grills out more online, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.